Hi, everyone. Well, it's the fourth week of the season of creation. And I hope you kids have had time to get outside and enjoy this beautiful, cool weather that we've been having. It's such a nice break from the heat and humidity that we were having there for a, for a couple of weeks. And playing outside with your friends is a great way to celebrate this beautiful creation that God has given us. How about you, Malachi? Have you been getting outdoors lately? You bet your bippy I have. I've been so inspired by Pastor Rob's sermons about the earth and the sky and the living water that I just had to get out into nature to basket it all. Well, just where did you do all of this basking? In your backyard? No, 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 no. I drove to Silver Lake Park. I said to myself, what better place is there to look at the sky and the clouds, listen to the lapping of the waves, smell the wildflowers and the plants, feel the breeze? That sounds absolutely lovely. I wish you'd have called me. I'd have gone out there with you. Be glad you stayed home. Oh, why? What happened? Mother Nature happened. That's what. But isn't that what you went out there for? To be in the middle of nature and admire God's handiwork? Yeah, but nobody warned me about the downside. What downside? Oh, let's see. Killer nuts, fishermen, varmints. Killer nuts? This is something I've got to hear. What happened? Well, first of all, I found myself what I thought was the ideal place to contemplate the beauties of nature. A nice patch of thick grass in the shade under a big oak tree. Okay. Uh, yeah, I kind of forgot, though, it's acorn season. After I got pelted on the head about 15 times, I decided maybe I'd better find a better spot. Hmm, probably that was a good move on your part. You'd have thought so, wouldn't you? But the next place was just as bad. I found a spot near the lake, right next to a row of shrubs. Unfortunately, I didn't see the fisherman on the other side who was fly fishing. I bent over to spread my blanket on the grass just when he was casting his hook. Ooh, ouch. I bet that hurt. Only when I sat down. Oh, you poor thing. I hope the rest of your day went better than how it started. You'd hope so, wouldn't you? But then came lunch time. Well, I'm almost afraid to ask. But what happened at lunch time? Lillian had made me the best pastrami sandwich to take along. I love pastrami plus a thermos of coffee. So I sat down to eat my lunch, unwrapped my sandwich and laid it down on the blanket while I poured my coffee when a certain unwanted visitor showed up. Mm. I'm guessing that was pretty much the last straw for you. You gathered up your blanket, all your stuff and headed home, right? Yeah, you'd think so, wouldn't you? But no. I went out there to commune with God's creation and no acorns or fish hooks or raccoons were going to stop me. I finally found a shady spot with a good view of the lake. So I sat there and I munched on the cookies Lillian packed for me that the raccoon didn't get and watched the geese and the ducks and the herons fly over the lake. Ooh, well, that sounds pretty relaxing. It was. There was a curious box turtle who climbed onto the blanket with me and ate some of my cookie crumbs. We sat there together for about an hour. It was so peaceful and quiet with just the sound of the wind and the trees and the waves lapping on the shore. I felt really close to God out there. You know what, Malachi, a Bible verse just popped into my head. It's from Psalms, I think. Be still and know that I am God. Yeah, I know that verse. It's Psalm 4610. I had a print of that verse hanging on my wall when I was a little kid. 
Well, you remember a couple of weeks ago when you were trying to listen for God's voice, but didn't hear anything? Did you hear God's voice when you were at the lake? Not exactly a voice, but a thought kept going through my mind. God's creation is so beautiful and so perfect. We should do everything we can to honor and protect it. Do you think that was God getting inside my head and telling me that? You know, Malachi, I think it was. Let's say a prayer, okay? Okay. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for the creation that you have given us. It's just gorgeous, especially this time of year. We're all just enjoying the beauty of the earth and the weather. We pray, Lord, that you'll be with us every day, that we will always appreciate and know what a blessing it is to live in your creation. In your name, amen. Amen. Thanks, Miss Brenda. You know, I think I just might make it a regular thing going out to the lake like that. Next time, I'll take along a healthy snack for the turtle, too. Maybe a carrot. Bye, kids. Shalom, everyone. Love you all. See you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.